All right, this is a video tutorial on Poplet, the iPad application. When you first open Poplet, you'll see the home screen, which has all the Poplets that you've made. If you want to get rid of one of the Poplets you've made, you hit the edit button, and then you go ahead and tap on the X by one of these, and it will delete the Poplet if you want to ever get rid of one. Today, we're going to focus on making a new Poplet, so we're going to click the pink button there. We're going to name this, and then we can also choose a color. When you get into the poplet screen where you're actually making the poplet, um, you're going to see a, just a basic text box here that to start with. So I'm going to tap on the text box one time to get everything that I can do to this poplet. The first thing we're going to focus on is adding information into our poplet. So the tools down here at the bottom um, will allow us to add things. So the very far left one allows us to change the color of the poplet. So I'll change it to blue, as you see there. If I want to add text, I click the T, and now I can type inside the poplet. The one to the right of that, the little pencil, allows me to draw, so I can select the color that I want to draw. And I can draw an image inside there. And then the one to the right of that is images. You can open pictures that you already have on your iPad. You can take a photo while you're in here or you can paste an image that you copied from somewhere. So I'm just going to open my library and I'm going to use this photo right here. Okay, so now I have a photo, writing, and text in there. You might not want all of those, but those are your options. If you want to change the size of your poplet, you can drag the corners, any corner, and it'll allow you to change the size of that particular poplet up, down, left, right. All right, let's say you want to add more poplets. If you click the gray circles anywhere around the poplet, it will add one adjacent to that. If I press and hold in, on any either poplet, any of them, you can move them, and you notice they stay connected while you're in there. If you want to get rid of the poplet because you didn't like that one, you can always X out of it, and it will delete it. So you can continue on here. I can move around, and I can add multiple poplets off of this main one in order to start making a graphic organizer. Now I can't see everything in one screen here so I can always pinch my two fingers together and zoom um, zoom out a little bit. If I want to zoom in, pinch apart and it will let me go. And I know you can't see my fingers in the screen but pinch to zoom in and out. Alright, so there's my different poplets. Okay, I showed you how to make a poplet by clicking one of the gray circles, but you don't have to have a poplet connected to other ones. You can have standalone ones if you want. If you click the gear right up here, it will give you some other options. So I can make a new poplet here. You can see the other options there, select multiples and so on. But let's say I want to just make a new poplet. Now I have one here that's independent of all the others. All right? You might want to leave this one independent and you know branch off of this and then you have two sets. Um, if you want to connect the two together you can always do that. Choose one poplet, press and hold on the gray circle and drag it to the other poplet you want to connect. And then you can connect the two. So now I've connected those. Maybe I didn't want those two connected. I can tap on the line between them and I'll get the X there and I can just go ahead and delete that. And that's true of other ones too. So you see here, I just tap that one, and I can X out of it, and I can unattach them. So now maybe I want this one attached to these over here. Tap on it, press and hold on the gray circle, drag it over to the one you want attached. So that's how you make a poplet. In the next video, I'll show you how to export that poplet so you can put it somewhere else.